Meantime, right now, to the rising protests sweeping across more college campuses across the country and here in our state at Yale University. We first brought you this is breaking news yesterday morning. Yeah, a lot was unfolding yesterday morning. Pro-Palestinian protests on Yale's campus led to dozens of arrests yesterday. And NBC Connecticut's Jennifer Joes was there as those protesters shut down a busy intersection in New Haven. She's live on campus this morning with the latest now. Jen? Hey, good morning to both of you. So this morning, it is a lot quieter than it was yesterday and throughout the day. Behind me, you can see as we push in on the plaza, there's about 15 people that are sleeping right down there in the middle of the plaza with some blankets and some uh, sleeping bags thrown over them. You know, yesterday morning around 640, so 40 minutes from now, Yale police actually kind of came right into this plaza and started arresting people if they refused to leave. Uh, we're going to have to wait and see what happens today. But after those arrests yesterday, we want to show you video of what happened. Protesters moved right to the main intersection here of College and Grove Streets in New Haven. They blocked the intersection for hours yesterday in protest. They've been calling for Yale to divest from weapons manufacturing amid the war between Israel and Hamas. So all of us need to recognize that the violence is what we're fighting and not one another. The way that this is being expressed blends very difficult, legitimate conversations into blatant anti-Semitism. Yale's president says while they support free speech, they're also focused on maintaining campus operations and safety. In a statement, he wrote in part, we then became aware of police reports identifying harmful acts and threatening language used against individuals at or near the protest sites. We will not tolerate such behavior. The Jewish Federation of Greater New Haven also released a statement saying it's aware and deeply disturbed by the hostile anti-Semitic environment and is concerned about the safety of Jewish students and community members in New Haven. This morning, it's still pretty quiet, as I mentioned, and it's unclear really moving forward how Yale police are going to handle this now that the uh, protesters are back on campus property. Live here in New Haven, Jennifer Joes, NBC Connecticut News.